say, Dolly, when I was watching this movie, I was singing throughout the whole thing. I'm sure you were too. Mm -hmm. So when you, when they approach you about having a movie with like your songs kind of as the soundtrack and the driving force, how honored were you for this opportunity? Very honored. Yeah. Even when the little book came out, I was just so honored. You know, that there was a book that had my name in it and talked about me and talked about my music. And then when they asked if I would write some additional music for it, I was more than happy to do that. So it was a great honor and it was a lot of fun too. We had a good time doing that, working with Linda Perry and she even came to sing with me on one uh, of the songs. Yes. Yeah. We're, that's what we're gonna do, Miss Janae. Yeah. So we're just gonna sing a duet with Dolly Parton. Yeah. That just happened. <laughs> but she did good though, it was good. I was, <laughs> it was terrifying and fun and all of it. Yeah, it was great. You quite wrap your brain around what you were going to do or, I mean, that's kind of fearless. Fearless, yes. <laughs> or fearful, depending on how you look at it. I mean, we, I, but I had, you know, Dolly and Linda Perry there mm -hmm. to, who were just patient and wonderful and, I mean, it's a it's a interesting to be behind one of those little circular <laughs> mesh things, and, you know what I mean? And I mean, I just sort of had this weird, you know, dream of a lifetime just come crashing in on me, and it was happening. Yeah, the and inner rock star. It was yes. <laughs> it came but out. But boy, I'm sure. such a I mean, bow to all of <laughs> all of them, those guys who who do that. It's 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 quite. That it's fantastic. But she did a good job, though. I have to say, she was a little nervous at the start, but she was walked in there like she does everything else, like a real pro. She put those headphones on, and yeah. she was a little nervous. I could tell, but we we tried. Like she but said. I sang through it, and then got my voice. I, I, had, I literally had barely. I couldn't even have a squeak come out. And then when we finished, I remember I just burst into tears. I know, well, she did a harmony part too, by the yeah. way. She did, a, you know, Linda worked with her and she did actually a good part, but she did she get, did get emotional after she was done. Oh, well, well, you know what, you just, I would imagine if I ever were to jump out of an airplane, yeah. I would probably have the same reaction of like, <laughs> I just did that, <laughs> you know? This is, that's, you know, as a kid singing into hairbrushes yes, and yes. wanting to be, you know, a rock star or whatever, or a singer of any mm -hmm. kind. Well, um, I sang Dolly Parton and Diana Ross when I was a kid. Yeah, a hairbrush. we did all you, did. Did you listen, and were you a big fan? Before? I was Dolly, but I was, yes, Barry Manilow. <laughs> I remember seeing also thinking I was Barry Manilow for some reason. <laughs> now, I have to say, I'm a country girl. I'm not Southern, but I'm country. And I would say the accent was very good. What do you What do you think about the accent? I thought she did great, and I told her that. I went to see it with her. Mm -hmm. I had not seen it, and I was sitting right by her, and I was really impressed. And I knew she worried about it because she hadn't, she didn't know she needed to hear it from somebody that knew. Yeah. So I leaned in and I said, "Your accent's great. You're doing a great job." And she said, <laughs> "Where did but you go it. to get it?" A wonderful dialect coach. Okay, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, did you listen to Dolly? Who did you listen to? Well, I'm also I, I'm I love picking up on accents anyway. Mm -hmm. It's just something I I I'm, I was I've always sort of been able to do a little, and that one is in particular. Um, so yeah, but I also have a fantastic dialect coach mm -hmm. who mm -hmm. who just sort of would give me little tips here and there. What's the toughest thing about getting it? Because some so many times I hear people go, they'll go to here. And that's just not country, you know what I'm saying? So they'll go to a weird... Like a comical version yeah. of what a southern accent is. Yeah. yeah. And we hate that as exactly. southerners. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the toughest thing about getting it, like, just right? Not knowing if you got it right. <laughs> <laughs> I know how I'm going to survive my mom's pageant season. She already started her diet. Oh, really? Dumpling the other side. Oh. oh. Okay, darling, just grab my ankles. Uh -huh. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. One of the scenes that I cracked up laughing at was when you're laying down in the car when you're on the way and you can because you can't, like, sit in your dress. Right. So I, I would think maybe you've had that experience before. What's the crazy experience you've had when you're, like, going to an award show or an event and you have to... Well, I haven't actually worn, I mean, there is been the moments where I've had to sit sort of sideways and you can't sort of bend your legs, so yeah. there's been that. But um, I've never, you know, there's certain, when those girls that, I've, I've never been to the Met Gala, you know, that big, where, where their dresses are so big, I just can't imagine how they've gotten into anything. And yeah. then it turns out they all were in huge vans, 
buses where they have to stand up and it's true. that's how they that's how they do it. I I've, I've yet to have that. It's true. How would you say that Hollywood is most like the pageant world? Hmm. How is Hollywood most like the pageant world? Um interesting. <laughs> well, I think because they dress up, they always feel like yeah. they have to be overdone or they have to always be made up. Yeah. They have to be so precise. Mm -hmm. They have to, you know, be, especially like if you're doing award shows, it's very much like we were talking about the dresses in the beauty yeah. pageant. Don't yeah. you think it's, it's kind of similar? It's a performance. It's a performance. Yeah, that's it's true. It's a performance. That's true. A little bit of a, yeah. Of a of a going out there and sort of putting on your your sparkly pretty mm -hmm. pretty self. Mm -hmm. We love that you're doing the project with Reese now. The TV set. How has that been partnering with her? I'm just keep pinching it. myself from this to that. I mean, I just I don't know what to say. I I'm, we started shooting like about a month ago, and it has been just so much fun. It is hard. It is dense. It is, but it is so fulfilling. I can't wait. I, most of my career has been in morning television, so I cannot wait for this. Yeah, <laughs> so, so I do a lot of what you do. Yeah, I love that. Um, by the way, there might be a battle now. Who's the biggest BFF of Dolly, you or Reese? Because she loves her some Dolly Oh, I know too. she does. <laughs> <laughs> we actually need to send her a little video. Oh, we do, and we will. <laughs> we will. She's, well, I think we're equal. Yeah. I mean, she's a little more Southern than I am, so maybe she wins. I've known her longer. I don't know. Yeah, I've she's known her since she was little. And oh. she used to dress up like me when she was a tiny little thing, and I was older then. But I've known her so long, and she's a Tennessee girl. We both live in Nashville now. Her shop is right next door to my office, so when she does come oh, to is? town, I get a chance to see her. So. But I'm I'm so excited that I have a new friend now in Jennifer, <laughs> getting a chance. To, I've met her before, but when we got to work on this project, she's so easy to love, Aww. and she well she is, and she's so easy to like, <laughs> and she's friendly and all the stuff that you. Wanted to be like my husband. All he he's always had a crush on her, and he's always said, "Well, what's she like? Is she as nice as you think you think she'd be? Is she as pretty as you think?" Oh. Said, yes, yes, and yes. So it's true, Jen. You you realize you are all of our girlfriend in our heads. Like we all feel like Jen Aniston is our friend. Yeah, yeah. Seriously. I'm, well, that's I'm that's why I'm here to serve. <laughs> what is it like though to hear Dolly Parton say, Jen, Jennifer Aniston is my friend? I'm dying on the inside. <laughs> I can't see it. I'm crying. I'm oh. I'm like. You know, I'm just, it's just been pinch me, pinch me exciting. This so. is really cool, and I love that you're a producer on this film, too. I love yeah. That, that, you know, you've got some ownership and kind Absolutely. Of, of how you do this. Um, Netflix, the film's on Netflix. Yep. And they created a little bit of a fan frenzy yesterday when they posted that they were going to end Friends at the end of the year. And it was a mistake. Oh. It's not happening. I was like, what? But people, but it's coming up on the 25th anniversary. What? Of what? Friends. No. <laughs> 25 years of what? Like since it was thought of? <laughs> no, it is 25 years like since it began. A that's, a, mm -hmm. that's a mind that's warp. A, and that's a I mind warp. Mean, it is. My, mm. my brain just warped. <laughs> um, is that even, I was going to say, how does that two and a half decades? It's, yeah, that's that's a long, I mean, that's just that's just very strange because it feels like yesterday. Yeah. It really does. Aww. It feels like yesterday. We had the, we all gathered together and watched the premiere of the, the pilot. Wow. So that was 25 years ago, is that what you're telling me? <laughs> and it's still so good. I mean, all, everything is just so good, you know. Just It holds. Yeah. It absolutely holds.